so let's see what the cross was hebrews 6 6 if they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance seeing they crucify to themselves the son of god afresh and put him to an open shame so the cross is an open shame the cross of jesus is an open shame so he was crucified in an open shame why was it shame hebrews 12 2 looking unto jesus the author and finisher of our faith who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross despising the shame the cross is shame and is set down at the right hand of the throne of god the cross was an open shame who put him to that open shame philippians 2 8 and being found in fashion as a man he 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 by himself humbled himself and he by choice became obedient unto death even the death of the cross that means he deliberately intentionally by choice gave himself to an open shame he was not forced he was not cajoled he was not manipulated he entered in knowing what was involved but he deliberately made the choice on my behalf, on my behalf. he was not forced he became obedient can i explain something to you to show you that jesus knew what was entailed in his death that's why in the garden of gethsemane he said i don't want the cup it's not as if god tricked jesus then jesus was trick 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 then when he now came to where he will die he said ah i didn't know it was like this no he knew the details of what he was going to embark on because he knew the details of what you were in yes. he knew your state he knew the state of man so he knew what he was going to go into so he died by choice that's why he could say i laid down my life they didn't collect it i laid it down and therefore i have power to pick it up i have power to lay down i have power to pick it up nobody can take it except i give it and when i give it i know how to take it back so that's why he could confidently tell them it is three days it is three days because i know that i need three days to complete the payment of the price of separation but on the third day i will have paid the price i will rise and i will go to heaven as a high priest and i will offer before my father what i have done on your behalf when the father collects it reconciliation will have taken place therefore sin can never stand between the born again man and god why the price of separation has been paid if if i'm talking to somebody jump on your feet and shout yes turn to somebody and say sin can never stand between me and god never in this world in the world to come sin can never stand between me and god because the price of separation has been paid by the life of jesus christ and jesus is in me therefore no more separation glory that's why romans now says therefore the the therefore being justified by faith we have we have somebody say i have we have peace the word peace in the greek is the word irene i-r-i-e-n-e -E. irene means we have union that word peace means union he says part of our justification with god is union 
union is not an accident union is my state i and god are united jesus has justified me by faith meaning i and god cannot be separated meaning i will never come before god and god frowns meaning i will never call god father and he turns his back meaning i will never say father and he says no meaning i will never say father and he says i'm angry no there is permanent union his state is my state his feeling is my feeling his desire is my desire where he cannot go i will not go why we are in union that is my state so i do not pray like a stranger i pray like an insider i do not talk to god not being sure of what will happen i know what will happen before i talk so my talk comes with thanksgiving father i thank you why will jesus say that because remember you told them i am my father so because we are one i thank you that you hear me always what about you you and your father so because you are one you too when you pray father that you hear me what is always when you are fasting when you are eating when you are happy when you are sad when you are excited whether you feel it or you don't feel it he hears you so if anybody doesn't want the prayer to be answered they shouldn't ask you to pray you didn't hear what i said tell your neighbor if you don't want the prayer to be answered don't come to my side by any chance because even when i'm laughing if i pray answer will come fast fast tell your neighbor there is nothing like an answered prayer where i am concerned i am in union with deity therefore i have his ears two four seven amen isn't that a joy justified by faith we have access into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of god glory to god